Hello, everybody, and welcome to Draft Horses, the only show on the internet that's committed to fully automated luxury gay horse communism. I'm Tim Splosion. I'm Punkit. I'm Bird. My name's Ferret. I'm Pasta Critic. Comics are good, <laughs> and we have done them in the past, and we would like to do one today. The Oxford English Dictionary this, this defines comic exactly as a potential art. Tim Splosion, can you define what Twitter is? <laughs> What is uh, the Oxford English Dictionary defines Twitter as a <laughs> dumpster fire, absolute cesspit. Tim Slotion, can you define cesspit? <laughs> Tim Slotion, can you define define? The hey, Oxford English Dictionary defines Guys, define as this bit is getting old. Now for Slotion, play this Despacito. <laughs> Just start, start playing a really shitty like MIDI cover of it in post. I... <laughs> Uh, anyway, hello, everybody. Uh, it's me, Niche Internet Micro Celebrity Punkit, creator of Horse Comics. I'm, I'm taking the reins from Tim because I'm the expert here. I think we should make a comic together. Damn, I think yeah. that's I think that's a brilliant idea. We should add a little bit of twist. What's the twist? I think each of us should contribute one random thing to this comic. We'll make something that no one can expect. Let's see what ingredients we have got for this comic. Ferret, what object should be in the comic? Okay, so I've been thinking about this. This, and I think a singular human sock. <laughs> a singular human sock. Okay, cool. <laughs> I like we'll the specification of the species. It's it's a My Little Pony, right? So it's a singular human sock, not a pony sock. It's a human sock. M Minty knows a lot about yeah. pony socks, so that makes sense. For the next ingredient in this comic, bird. What character should we include? Okay, uh, Rainbow Dash from specifically the Crystal War like timeline. I think about her a lot. <laughs> <laughs> she is cool. Spot. Like, that's a cool ass fucking heck. For our next ingredient, punk it. Give us a four word sentence. Fluttershy gives a speech. So we've got to we've got to fit the dialogue. Fluttershy gives a speech somewhere in the comic. We'll, we'll make it. We'll make it make sense. I'll amend it. Fluttershy <laughs> give a speech or something like that. Okay, my my gears are already starting to turn here, and we're still we're still two ingredients left to go into this melting pot. Pasta. What pose or facial expression should we include somewhere in the comic? Are you heard of a very niche manga series by creator Akira Toriyama, Dragon Ball. <laughs> I was thinking. No, I have not. Including uh, a certain pose that appears in the anime, uh, but I suppose also in the manga. <laughs> yep, okay, it's that. <laughs> Yamcha numero uno, baby! This is good. This is That's what we're looking ask. for. I love that. Okay. Um, the last ingredient, what I'm bringing to the pot here, is a location the Crystal Empire. Ooh, okay, okay. Crystal War Rainbow Dash dies. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Rainbow Dash turns to Fluttershy is like, we need to rally the troops. Fluttershy, give a speech. Fluttershy is so nervous that she needs to use a sock puppet to try and give the speech. Um, someone in the crowd asks her a question, and then the final panel is just... <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. That's she didn't die in the war. She died of embarrassment, I can imagine. <laughs> That's too funny. I, I want to go for it. Okay. Who, who wants to take panel? <laughs> I'm the expert here, so I'll <laughs> lead the way like a brave leader, much yeah, like Slutter. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Since my art style is already so much like a sock puppet, should I be the one to do the sock puppet panel? Oh yeah, you absolutely should. So I don't often do this, but I think for the sake of clarity, I'm going to do a, a quick sketch. Well, a really good thing to do, everybody, uh, every every pony, sorry, I, I realize I'm the horse show, is always thumbnail. Thumbnail helps a lot. It doesn't mean you have to <laughs> yeah. be, be good. It just means you have to like block out where things are going to land. And it's very helpful. I agree with that, Punkit, because like, yeah. Uh, I tried to do like a mass attack this year for like art fight without a sketch. That gave me so much pain. I am not doing that again. <laughs> it's funny. We haven't even got to like any defining features and I know this is Fluttershy. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Those eyes. Yeah. By the way, since we're doing the whole Crystal War AU thing, we should be using <laughs> Fluttershy uh, EU design, right? Potentially. I don't uh, actually know what she looks like. Potential. I've got a picture of her. Hardened by years of war. <laughs> I don't think she was even on the front lines. I think she was like shaming horses or something. No, sorry, she. She. she, 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 she. I, I'm mixing up my my own gears. Um, your hair's kind of um. Uh, well, there's a lot of blood in it, so let me just. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, she looks like an Oliver Twist orphan. She looks like she's begging for bits of gruel. <laughs> I really like how this Fluttershy looks already. Sad. I'd give her a hug. I'd give her a hug. I wouldn't. I want her to suffer. I wouldn't hug Fluttershy. Me, I'm a cruel Hugging monster. monster. <laughs> <laughs> she looks so fucking sopping wet. Her little hooves. Oh my god. <laughs> really into this. Oh this is so funny and it breaks my heart. Like <laughs> this, this horse will die in four more panels. <laughs> this horse will get encased in crystals by King Sombra himself. Can I draw the panel where she dies? <laughs> you have drawn the Yamcha yeah, pose before. Yeah, yeah. So I have drawn it before, but I like drawing it. Sorry, her hair is like weird in this form. It's kind of bizarre compared to how I usually draw it. Here's her sad little EP wings. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> she looks so Silly. I want to smack her in the face with a bat. <laughs> uh, she looks like a Moomin. I drew a dark, fucked up, twisted, <laughs> evil Moomin. This is a peek into my Moomin. twisted I, mind. I, I just have a friend who like knows stuff about it. I don't know. All right. There you go. <laughs> Got a dumb little face. I need to find Crystal Empire Rainbow Dash. Does anybody got that on hand? She looks quite full out in the actual thing. Like, yeah. She does. Yeah. Okay, so like, I, I am 90% sure this entire bit was like one extended reference to like, in some way, Fallout Equestria, which is crazy to me. I'm going to do my honor bound duty of making dumb jock rainbow. <laughs> there we go. This is the classic horse comics face. Warfare must have been so anachronistic looking during this time. <laughs> they, they still had fucking like the Royal Guard like coming in with their like medieval ass looking or like Roman ass looking armor. They industrialized real fast for the Crystal War. They really did. Yeah. That's actually something I read happens a lot during times of war. Uh, yeah, I mean like oh, yeah. you do get a lot of huge significant like cultural changes going forward like after times of war. Like pre and post World War One was like, I mean aside from the yeah. war, <laughs> they had to make a lot of shit. That's what I want to say like they started the war with like bayonets and stuff and they ended it with mustard gas and all you know uh i don't get what the issue with mustard gas is like i'm not a fan of mustard but i feel like it goes pretty well on sandwiches i, I think uh, i like, guess the europeans didn't really like that <laughs> <laughs> they, they they had a bread shortage and they were like yeah, damn that's, that's why world war one is so tragic all that mustard but yeah. no, no bread to <laughs> all mustard is such a waste and they, they had to make the rations last so they had to they had to turn all the mustard into gas. <laughs> <laughs> we inhaled mustard because you could make it last for two weeks. <laughs> you could make it last for two whole weeks. Dear Princess Celestia, I know you're having a troubling time fighting this war, so I developed a new type of biological weapon. I call it mustard gas. You, you could probably transplant that exact speech to fucking the original Fallout Equestria fic, TBH. I haven't read it, so I wouldn't know. Okay, so like, live admission <laughs> to YouTube here. Um, I was like a weird, like, closet fan of Fallout Equestria because I was an MLP fan, and then I read about Fallout Equestria and I was like, what the fuck is Fallout? <laughs> so, through that, <laughs> I found what Fallout was. Because mind you, I was like 14, and then I was reading about like Fallout 3 on the TV Tropes wiki, and I was like, oh, the Nightmare Fuel page, and I'm reading it, and I'm like, oh my god, this is so scary! And I've like never engaged with any like rated M media before, because I'm a fucking dork. So I was like, whoa, this is like dangerous for me. Like not actually, but boy, it's sc it's scary. Uh, and I got really into it. So like Fallout Equestria is the reason I played Fallout New Vegas, which is one of my favorite games ever. Uh, and also the only Fallout game that I actually really enjoy playing. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's that's the I've only really played Fallout 4. I have played Fallout 4. I'm so sorry. I will withhold any further words uh, with Ferret in the call. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've been getting a lot of hate, specifically from one person who keeps telling me I need to play the rest of the Fallout games. And they're really good. I highly recommend them. It isn't bad. I'm, I'm reading this dialogue, and I think it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I always like the way you emphasize certain words. We're all going to die to death. I love saying, like, die to death. <laughs> Thank you. When I was it's at Everfree so Northwest, and I was hanging out with Horse Wizard the entire time, uh, and Horse Wizard's like one of my biggest inspirations for working on horse comics, people were coming up to me, and they'd be going, oh my god, are you punk yet? I'm a huge fan. Wow. That's so cool. I love your stuff. Haha. <laughs> uh, Weed Brony, Diagonal Twix. And like, I love my fans. That's awesome. That's very cool. Uh, but the entire time, Horse Wizard is right behind me. <laughs> and like, Horse is like way more influential IMO, like in terms of like what I've been doing. <laughs> He's the OG. So like, has been around a lot. Yeah. So I'm just like, yeah, haha. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. And then Horse Wizard's in the back, just like staring. <laughs> Got the Kubrick stare going. Uh, yeah. Not, not actually. He, he was super, he was super funny and nice and, and great. Uh, but it was just 
really funny to me that the entire time I was like getting recognized, and meanwhile I'm with like one of the people who like inspired me the most. <laughs> like, um, did you did you folks that. see by the way that Amy knew? Uh, I think that Peter knew's it's fast. That's the word. Like, yeah. draws a bunch of like femme Big Mac now. Like that makes me so pumped. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> They recently did a picture of, of Big Mac at Bridal Woodstock. She's all like got tons of like ribbons and like neon colors. And I was like, this is awesome. This is peak. Uh, I want to say this is a good panel, by the way. I think this is done. I, I really like what I've got going on here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to call this a good, good dynamic. Hit. Panel two. That, I think that do you want to take this one? one? I know. I, I kind of wanted to do like the thing where it's like, like, like it shows like the crowd, like asking her a question. And I'm assuming okay. that's happening on like the fourth panel because I have ideas for that. Let's do this. So, pretty pretty simple, straightforward panel I've got then. Yeah. Rainbow Dash looking like intense in that first panel, but then like the second panel, she's like, you got this, Fluttershy. It's like, she's got to look good for like the crowd, you know? She's only intimidating for that one panel. They, they pretty <laughs> often do that, honestly, to Fluttershy. They're like, Fluttershy, you have to do this. It's the most serious fucking thing in the world. And they're like, great job, girl. You go. Pinkie Pie is constantly doing this, which is why I think Flutter Pie shippers are really funny. Because it's like, you, you that girl will get a heart attack being in that relationship. <laughs> like, I know they're really good friends. They're really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but like, can you imagine having like serialized anxiety and you're with the silliest, loudest person you know, <laughs> like romantically? Oh, for sure. I know what'll help calm you down. Lots of loud noises, bright lights, <laughs> and tons of people. Fluttershy, we're taking you to a rave. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I love this Fluttershy. It's really good. Of course, America. <laughs> horse America. President United States Obama. <laughs> Rick, I need to talk to the horse president. Uh, I'm trying to think of a, a good like Obama horse pun. I'm not coming up with anything but horse Obama. <laughs> See. In my comic universe, Barack Obama is a person. He's not like a pony or anything. He is, he's just Barack Obama. Go Specifically, that one, that one PNG of Barack Obama where he's like crossing his, his arms Damn and smiling. <laughs> our, our president of Equestria, above the queen, above the princess, is is is, is, is PNG Barack Obama from Torso Up. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly it. That's his full name. Let me be clear. <laughs> You're, you're like the post credit scene. Becoming a crystal pony. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets the shimmer, but it's just still over like the PNG of his torso. <laughs> Let me be clear, then he just becomes translucent. <laughs> then he becomes an actually like clear crystal. <laughs> we've all been we've all been waiting for this show. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was leading up to this baby. Let's fucking go. I love the way you did the eyes. It's really speaking to me. Yeah, I'm really trying to capture that like, oh god, why is this my job kind of vibe. I, I have to wonder how the breezies like survive like outside of the ponies helping them. Like, why did you manifest this way? You sickly little creatures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Are you real? <laughs> you were like the fruit flies of the horse world. God damn. <laughs> that, that, that freaking comic of like, oh yeah, their bones are made of glass and they'll die if you breathe on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Somebody made a joke when I made that comic about um, period at the end of Pinky's sentence being the thing that floats onto the <laughs> breezy and kills them. <laughs> That's way funnier. Yeah, sure. Canon. There's there's not really a lot else to, to add to the panel. Yeah, I, I think you really nailed it all around on this. That is my panel done. Fur it. Let's bust out this sock puppet. Okay, all right. All right. Walk, walk us through fur. Uh, what do you got? We gotta have sock puppet Fluttershy. <laughs> Soccer shy, if you will. Soccer shy. It's my favorite sports horse. Sports, if you will. <laughs> is this a hand? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, the hands. I mean, I did already give Rainbow Dash a hand, so it's been pre-established. Yeah, I've really you, started you drew... with, with my art later lean into the whole hands thing. I've been drawing ponies with hands non-stop. I want to be known for the as the person who draws horses with hands. <laughs> You hear that, Crooked Beetle? You've got competition. I it's want sort to of. be known as the horse that throws persons with hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me be clear. I want to be known. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do with this eye shape, and I fully support it. Yes! The oh, wigglies! You, the applied tears! Yeah. Yes! This is my favorite. <laughs> okay, what are we What are we going to have Fluttershy say? Because we could we could just have it be like Fluttershy's like, I believe we will win. And then someone <laughs> in the crowd asks, how? Um, <laughs> Wow. That was that was my that was that was my thought. I do really enjoy the image of how and then dead Fluttershy. <laughs> um, we that's... will we take cancer a lot somehow. How? Um, her hair looks. I'm just winging it. <laughs> I I mean 
it's still you're still getting the vibe and i feel like i feel like we're, we're keeping a consistent head shape like we're all going with this like bean head thing yeah like with the i won't i yeah. always keep my ponies on model to be fair the pose i'm going to draw won't let us see much of the face at all so it doesn't matter yeah honestly yeah. it's it's funnier if the yamcha death pose is on model <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah 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 so we really we really all yeah. we've all played to our strengths very well here i need to fix this this main little so it looks more like this version of her. <laughs> Having a side Correct puppet of your hair. old style is also pretty funny. My name's Fluttershy and every time I change my hair I have to update my sock puppet. <laughs> <laughs> I like the tape on there. That's VTuber good. Fluttershy with a yeah. sock puppet. Wait, wait, why hasn't anybody done a VTuber with a sock puppet? That sounds hilarious. Somebody has to have. I, I imagine if Fluttershy were to ever stream, I do think sock puppet is an incredibly fucking funny way to do it. Especially yeah. considering there's no way for her to operate that sock puppet with hooves. Wait, wing puppet. Hold on. We're cooking. We're in the kitchen wing here. Puppet. Jesse. I mean, when I... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've not even watched Breaking Bad. <laughs> he never even says we need to cook. He never does that. <laughs> what were you saying, Tim Explosion? Oh, yeah, no, I remember. We were talking about the, the, the wing puppets. Yeah, whenever whenever I imagined how, like, Pegasi would, like, hold things, like, Pegasi seemed pretty dexterous in the show with their with their wings. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Extremely. So, like, I always imagined that they, they just had the ability to, like, hold things with, like, wingtips. I think that works well with the with the idea of being able to operate a, um, Gun. a sock puppet with wingtips. <laughs> there are two sides of you. <laughs> Operate sock puppet and operate gun. She made her so her sock puppet look sleepy. Well, she modeled it after herself uh, after she'd taken the forever weed brown. Yeah, <laughs> Trevor changed her artistically. I want to. I want to go for a, a googly eye pupil that's stuck. All right, now what what's she saying? Um, we might win. <laughs> How? Uh, we might be able uh, to possibly win. Um, do good. <laughs> <laughs> she would. Make friends. Fight better. A part of me wants to add something here, but I don't know what. It just it feels too empty. A microphone. She's just got like a bunch of like different microphones for different stations, like like they have in. She's <laughs> got the CNN one, the MSNBC one, the BBC one. They all they all have to be horse. Times of I, I don't know how I don't know how you'd horse them, but. Oh yeah, the horse BBC, the horse CNN. <laughs> just add an H at the start of each one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> H CNN. Oh. That's cute. Oh, the little, little, little butterflies. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I think I've peaked it. Yeah, I, I think this is good. Much I can do this. <laughs> this is really good. I like this a lot. She's right. such um, a little beast. Uh, cool. So, bird crowd scene time. Let's get right to it. Walk us through. Let's go. You see, I kind of wanted this shot because, like, I'm imagining this will be of the crowd, right? That means I can fit a lot of horses here, and I can reference a couple th things that will only appeal to me and oh maybe other people. Hell yeah. See, that's what we're okay, all about so here. Command and Conquer. Uh, Command and uh, Conquer. Yeah, sure. Command and Conquer. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Battle for Dream Island. That's totally what I'm doing. Battle for Dream <laughs> Island. You guys should watch a Battle for Dream Island. I animated for it once. Uh, that's crazy. Wait, I didn't actually know that. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, I love the way you do eyes. They're so fun. Yeah. They're <laughs> it's so just a circle and a line. And there's a yeah, lot of specificity. <laughs> Lauren Faust also draws eyes mostly as circles and lines. Is all art not circles and lines in some way or another? Exactly. Oh. Everything is circles and lines. That just means not good. Yeah, listen. I was about to say some of it is boxes, but then boxes are just a box four is lines. just a few so. lines. I cannot answer to anyone just saying question anything else than what's your question, soldier? My, my favorite thing I to do. Teleporting bread. <laughs> I did not hear teleporting. <laughs> I've done nothing but teleport bread for the last seven days. I've been like recently playing TF2. I have no idea why. Oh my gosh. I've been watching have. random like videos. I got recognized like three times when I was playing Saxton Hale. <laughs> Oh my god. The horses are in. <laughs> the horses are in. I was playing Sax in the Hail and somebody was like, Oh my god, hi, is that Punkin from Twitter? <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're killing this guy, right? They were like, yeah, 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 but I love your comics. <laughs> Punkit, I hope you know that you only exist on Twitter. I only exist on Twitter. It was really funny getting referred to as yeah, Punkin from Twitter. <laughs> 
I have almost the same amount of followers like on Tumblr as I do on Twitter, but I'm only known for specific things on each. Like it's really funny how different some of the like metrics are. Like the hey AJ, look at these squirrels doing it comic did numbers on Twitter, but it didn't really do a whole ton on Tumblr. The reverse is a diagonal Twix comic. That did amazing on Tumblr. People love diagonal Twix there. It gets overwhelming when you have so many notifications after posting a comic, but um the first few are very nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, but my favorite thing is when you draw like a couple in like a, a, a drawing and somebody like tags their actual significant other on Tumblr and you're like <laughs> oh yeah that's so cute it's like I get, a, I get a brief glimpse into the life of this random couple that I will not know anything about aside from the fact that they think that they are in fact Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy on Twitter I have someone who very frequently tags one of their friends I believe and the comments like they don't say anything else they just tag them <laughs> instead of DMing them or... that is always so funny to me I always I, think I, I, why I not DM them I find it very funny I, I have no problem yeah, with I feel it like, I feel like that's a cultural carryover from TikTok because I've found uh, between a half and a third of the comics uh, the animations that I post on TikTok are just people tagging other people. Yeah. And I hadn't really seen that be a thing until TikTok, but now now it's on Twitter as well. Interesting. I, I don't know if I just didn't see it before or... I know it's been around on Tumblr good. for a while because you can like actually just check your mention specifically and people will be like, haha, this reminded me of you. But every time I see that, I also think, why not DM me? <laughs> I don't think anyone mentions me, though. I'll do it right now. <laughs> I only open Tumblr to post stuff. I wish I was addicted to Tumblr and not Twitter. <laughs> Oh, I'm man. addicted to both. I, I started using Tumblr more uh, as a way to try and stop using Twitter. Now I just use both. <laughs> hey, wait. Hey, wait. Uh, pointing. Look, Gary, there I am. Star Magnolia sighted. There we go. There she is. There's a couple of sightings. Like, I'm just noticing someone at the back of the uh, the crowd that Bird is drawing. And I, I get that it's it's a Fallout reference, but in the context of, like, the Crystal Empire War, it just implies that there's just, like, one of King Sombra's guys just, like, <laughs> in the oh, yeah. crowd at the army. Yeah, I'm imagining that's a spy. I'm imagining that's a spy. <laughs> it's the worst spy in existence. <laughs> just, and it's somehow, it's spy. working. <laughs> just, just put the, like, paper plate, like, TF2 spy. <laughs> I was imagining like doing that, yeah. <laughs> when I get mad, I squish a PNG. I, I forgot what I was I saying. Half of <laughs> you get mad, you squish, squish a PNG of me. <laughs> I'm like a plushie. I make squeaky noises when you do that. Star I, Magnolia marked for plushie when. Uh, whenever somebody approaches me for it, baby. Hey, any horse entrepreneurs out there, hit me up. <laughs> So let it be known that it is Tim uh, asking the question here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> Does Tim have body armor on? Yeah, he has <laughs> one. I mean, no. Why was that every photo of Barack Obama? Why was it the one photo? I mean, I guess it's a good photo, but he doesn't look real anymore. I've seen it so many times. <laughs> I'm sorry this has turned into the, Ob the Obama Drought Horses episode. <laughs> it's like, first Jesus, now Obama. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make Obama writers. <laughs> I hope I still oh, have like I'm holding a contest. Yeah, Friders logo, so I can just edit Obama into it. Oh my god, <laughs> please, that'd be really funny. Oh, uh, let me be sick. And he does like a fucking triple twist. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, that'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> we're just, <laughs> we're just making the same jokes again. My I'm fellow American does a kickflip. <laughs> My fellow Americans, oh, check no, this stop, shit. Stop. <laughs> We've already done this. <laughs> <laughs> the bits are recursive. Uh oh, uh, the pasta's stuck in a time loop. Uh, yeah, sorry, pasta. You're so stuck good. in an alternate universe. Ooh. <laughs> We've trapped pasta in the A. Stop like <laughs> <are red. laughs> in an universe where Jesus is Barack Obama instead. We, we've trapped Pasta in the alternate timeline where the only jokes available are about former U.S. Senator Jesus. for Illinois from 2005 to 2008, Barack Obama. Welcome to the alternate. Yeah, someone, someone who was not known for any other achievement. <laughs> He's never done anything else. Not once. I'm a pony veteran. Of if pony other non. Tim uh, is listening to this part and it's like left in, hi. <laughs> Is 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 other Tim in the room with us right now? <laughs> Barack Obama, if you're watching, can you cross your arms again just for me? 
All right, but just this one. <laughs> Crowd of children like cheering. Yay! <laughs> Say the line, Obama. <laughs> Do the line, Obama. <laughs> Do the pose, Obama. All right. <laughs> All right, you want to know like the origins of like the bird gang? I do. So like um, elementary school, right? I was obsessed with Angry Birds. I decided one day, hey, I'm gonna turn my friends into Angry Birds and put them in a comic. Awesome. Uh, and so I tricked them into doing that. Um, the peak. Let's go. Uh, originally, there was like one other guy who I like rubbed into like drawing comic, like two comics, and then they left. But then I kept up this thing until like early high school, and it, it was the worst thing possible. I. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> does to MF, to MF, okay. <laughs> and that's that, that's where the bird gang can, comes from that's that's what the comic was called that's uh that's sick. It all physical <clears throat> honestly yeah, so much lore this episode yeah <laughs> so much insight i mean like i think it is natural to make funny comics about your friends in school i think it's a, i i did that my username came from <laughs> someone asking me what my name was online one day and out of nowhere i was just like for it after the ferret walk meme and it, oh, it yeah. stuck with me because i never left this person and they became one of my closest friends and i haven't <laughs> been able to escape the name and now it's my entire identity <laughs> you literally have faked you, it till you, you made it magnolia was done out of memory it was a good magnolia i mean you got the yeah. you got the base tenants dork ass looking glasses star Poofy there we hair. go <laughs> Uh, shout out to uh, my friend um, Stacy. Uh, IP address 91.2116.250.33. Uh, port number 27015. Um, at uh, social security number, yeah, <laughs> 3200 um, Royale Lane, uh, Wisconsin. You're the best. Uh, I wish nothing but the best for you. <laughs> The IP address I listed off leads to a times 10 TF2 randomizer server. <laughs> <laughs> Draft Horses TF2 Let's Play 1. Uh, might be fun Draft to Horses Gaming Channel. <laughs> Draft Horses Gaming. We never showed the gaming footage, though. It's still like footages of our blank canvases the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Can we agree that Pinkie Pie like is the pyro, um, though? Hello. Oh, okay. yeah. Hi. No, like 100%. Pinkie is definitely the pyro. Like, there's no question. <laughs> <laughs> I think I drew Pinkie Pyro back in the day. Oh, my God. Pinkie Pyro. Oh, but that has to be Scout. Oh, oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> the Rainbow Dash Scout comparison goes back centuries. You can trace it back to the Neolithic era of Rainbow Dash Scout <laughs> comparisons. Uh, the ancient game banana mods oh, yeah. etched into the uh, the caves of history. So, Bird, this panel is looking pretty close to done. I can see it's already moving on to coloring. Yeah. Um, shall we yeah. get the final panel underway then? I believe so. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. So Master, calm. bring it home. Before we start, I want to do something real quick. Okay. There we go. <laughs> this is so okay, fucked there up. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. This is going to is stay gonna, here. Is that going to be your icon for the for the episode? <laughs> yes, yes, it, it is, in fact, going oh to my be god. my icon for the episode. Okay, so let's get started drawing uh, the final panel of this comic. This is the climax, the epic finale. This is what we saved the big panel at the bottom for. Honestly, I was worried that like it, the 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 big panel at the bottom, it would feel like like someone had gotten too much panel, like one person had got more space than everyone else. But like, I feel like this deserves it. Yeah, I think like, this is a proper impact panel. Yeah. Yeah. They say in biz, it needs it needs the size. I was really worried how this comic would come out, but I think we actually managed to get it perfect. I, I'm loving it. Yeah same i love how like all of our like suggestions like intersected <laughs> it worked yeah, out very nicely in that way oh wow <laughs> i like i like how you're doing this pose so far i'm impressed with the, the specificity of it there's still a horse <laughs> okay it started raining real hard i hope you can hear it <laughs> we can I but i think it's funnier <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of impressed that we can hear it. Like, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, it, it is raining really, really hard. It, mu it must be because we can very clearly hear exactly how much rain there is. 
Uh, Actually, I was just complaining about not seeing rain, but it's probably rained like every day this week. I haven't exactly left the house. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking real tricksy moment. My pride flag is currently over my window. I I have no idea what's going on outside. (laughs) (laughs) The great and powerful Trixie has decided to (laughs) stay home. The great and powerful powerful Trixie has no need for touching your pathetic grass. (laughs) (laughs) Touch grass? How about you touch some bitches? (laughs) Trixie, (laughs) Trixie, you can't say that. Trixie, you have no bitch. (laughs) I can and I will. This reminding me of like this one time I made like a D&D character that is basically straight up just like Trixie, but like a satyr lady and she like holds two flaming guns. That's and like uh fucking wicked. For a second there I thought you were gonna stop it straight. I I made this D D character that was straight. Isn't that weird, guys? <laughs> it is no, a I'm fantasy not game. Not exactly straight, Starlight. <laughs> I'm sure she likes women. I'm just remembering this like wonderful moment where I was like like they were played for like a like an evil one shot basically in this person's campaign. They brought them back and allowed me to voice them in like the main campaign in the same setting, which was awesome. Uh, and I got to interact with like an, another character from that same one shot that was played, but also being acted by my friend. And, and it's like my character interacted with their character. The, the, the first thing I said to them was like, well, if it isn't the blood witch bitch. <laughs> and that's my favorite quote ever. No, I, I, <laughs> it's a great quote. Uh, I miss her so much. I miss her so much. <laughs> I can see why. (laughs) Obama writers! Literally, it's a flat circle. We have one fucking joke in this channel. (laughs) What if if important historical figure did kickflip? Uh, I really like how detailed you are with this. I think this is really like I, I feel like going from sock puppet mode to like completely detailed Fluttershy is a very good usage of our our detail resources here on this comic. Our style oh, range. You guys are too kind. I'm never too kind. We are. Oh, okay, and then in that case, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? fuck you, you suck. Uh, and and your mom. Let me know if I'm too mean, but you know. If we're too kind, then we've we got to go the other way. Um, I was, I'm coloring in my drawing right now for the, the comic, and I was color picking from an image of Fluttershy, and I was trying to say in my brain, why are her colors so flat? But all I could say was, why is Fluttershy so flat? <laughs> And now I've just been like giggling to myself. I don't know. She's pretty round. She's been pretty, pretty round. <laughs> she's a Moomin panels. character. Moomin characters are not flat. They are shaped. Shaped. They're <laughs> friend shaped. They're friend shaped. If Fluttershy is friend shaped, now is If everyone's friend shaped, no one is. <laughs> <laughs> when everyone's friend shaped. Punk is sleep stream. It's it's important that there's an impact hole, even though um you know she just. <laughs> <laughs> she oh fell- yeah, no, that's a vital part of the composition. Yeah, she fell over, and that's it. Did cause fell off. <laughs> somebody in the audience is like, <laughs> "You <laughs> fell off," and she dies. <laughs> Where do you think these guys are meeting in? I'm imagining just like some like dark, damp warehouse because like the Canterlaw army has just been like pushed back so hard. Uh, I think at a little tea shop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Coffee shop AU, but it's also a war AU. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee shop war AU. <laughs> That's a great combination of words. Fluttershy, we cannot win this war unless you successfully make this caramel macchiato. <laughs> oh god, oh shit, oh god. <laughs> Stop panicking, no make the macchiato or we're all gonna die. No shy ass for no sugar and now tens of our men are dead. <laughs> oh, fuck. Flarshy, Flarshy, I was on a raiding duty with a, a raiding party with my, my fellow Wonderbolts and uh, you know what we found in the Sombra camp? The secret formula for our coffee. <laughs> there is a traitor among our ranks and we need to root it out. The secret Who formula. Who know that we use oat milk instead of almond milk? <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's it. We need to get Pinky on the scene. We need to figure this shit out right now. 
I'm sad that as far as I know, we never got a Pinky and Rarity like mystery team up because they they both were in mystery episodes as like little fun characters, like solving stuff. I remember one time just like a friend just like asking out of nowhere, hey, what's like, do you guys ever think about like the the nearest improvised weapon near you at times? Like something (laughs) like that. Hey, do you guys ever think about the nearest improvised weapon next to you? What the fuck? (laughs) Oh, I like this. Just like Fluttershy, just like constantly like anxious about like gang attacks. So just <laughs> <laughs> she's she's actually very good with weapons, but she does not like this fact. Oh my god, she died to death. Died to death. Oh no! Oh, no, anyway. but my Apple pencil that did. Oh no! Oh shit! This thing never runs out of batteries. What, why is it happening now? <laughs> god damn. The Apple pen sent your car cat VTuber. Anyway, I, I guess I'm just going to use my finger like a caveman. <laughs> um, hey! Style, activate. <laughs> well, yeah, you roasted for it with that <laughs> indirectly. Wait, wait, hold on. No, I didn't know you did that. <laughs> yeah, fur draws with a finger. That's crazy. Oh my I god. Draw my finger. Don't we all draw with our fingers <laughs> technically? I feel like every time I talk to people about my art, I have this exact same conversation. I think we may ha- we may have witnessed the death of my Apple Pencil. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I, 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 I'm not talking about like just out of battery, just straight up dead. That is so unfortunate. Oh my gosh. Well, I've been using this thing since 2018. I mean, I guess I had to run it eventually, oh, I suppose. I really hope I don't have to buy a new one. I mean, I feel like these yeah, things are so expensive. Good. Yeah. I feel like we've gotten pretty far in the drawing, though, for it to be, like, called the complete panel for the yeah. segment that we're in. Because, um, yeah, this panel's looking... It does look really good already. <laughs> She's I so dead. so excited. For she really is. Like, <laughs> Die, Pastino. I, I love the anatomy. I love how you translated the Yamcha pose to a, a four-legged horse creature. I love how you uh, include <laughs> the impact well. regardless. <laughs> When this comic is on screen, which it will be right about now, um, I think we'll we'll have a fantastic final result because we've all brought our A game, and I think just the comic in general is is really fucking funny. <laughs> I would be motivated by the speech. If my leader spoke so good that she died, I'd go, damn, great work. Damn, we must be about to win. <laughs> we must be about to win. She just died. <laughs> died. Okay, uh, with that all said then, I think we can finish up by saying, Dear Princess Celestia, we need to ask you questions about some of the drone strikes that took place under your watch in Horse Iraq between 2008 and 2012. Can you get back to us real soon, sent via The Hague? Sincerely, your faithful students, the Draft Horses. Do a kickflip. You're not getting in. Do a kickflip, Celestia. Yeah. I have been Tim Splosion. You can find me at Tim Splosion pretty much everywhere online. Uh, I'm Punkit. You can find me at Punkit Dev or Punkit Dash is Dash here on Tumblr. Or I have a cool NeoCities website. You can go to punkit.neocities.org and then look at my HTML coding. <laughs> you can also check under your bed. I'm there. I've been Pasta Critic. Um, you can find me at Pasta Critic everywhere it's it's the same username everywhere i am the bird gang on youtube the bird gang on tumblr i think the burb gang on twitter i have to like remember if like uh, whether it that like the d is like changed to a b like wherever uh um, i've been fallout for it you can find me anywhere as fallout for it or you can summon me with a bucket of chicken and a spell book <laughs> <laughs>